Okay, we're going to graph this equation. x is equal to negative y squared plus 4y. As we can see, we have the x by itself, and we have this y raised to the second power, right? Therefore, the graph is going to be a sideway parabola. And notice that this right here is in the standard form. And let me write it down for you guys. The standard form of the sideway parabola is x is equal to a y squared plus b y plus c. And I have to find the vertex first, right? So to graph this, let's use the vertex formula to find the vertex. So let's write it down. For the vertex, in a sideways situation, it's the y, okay? We have y is equal to, and you see I'm using capital A, B, and C. It's because I want to just emphasize this is the sideways situation. But the vertex formula is the same. We have negative B over 2A. And now we just have to plug in the value and we have to get the vertex first. So let's see right here. We can have the negative right here and then the B is 4 and it's a positive 4, right? So I'll put a parenthesis. B is positive 4 instead of this parenthesis over this 2 right here from the formula. And I will open the parenthesis for A. And A is negative 1. So let me put this down right here. And as we can see, negative 4 on the top over 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. Negative 4 over negative 2, we have positive 2. So this is just the y value for the vertex. And of course, a vertex is a point. Therefore, we have to get the x value as well. So to get the x value in this case, I just have to plug in the y value into the original equation. So we have the x right here. It's equal to negative the y is the 2. So let me open the parentheses first, put on a 2 right here, and then we raise that to the second power. And then we add it 4 times the y, which is the 2, like all this. And I'm just going to work this out for you guys. 2 squared is 4, but this is technically a negative 4, right? And 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, negative 4 plus 8 altogether, we have positive 4. So the vertex right here is going to be 4, comma, 2. So keep this in mind. You still have to put on the x value first. 4, comma, 2. The x value and the y value. So we can kind of get to work already. If you would like to just have a sketch, this is what you can do. I'm just going to um, plug the vertex. I will say this is this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 1, 2. The x value is 4, and the y value is 2. So this is going to be the vertex. Okay? And um, let's see, what else can we use? As we mentioned earlier, the a value is negative 1, and we know this is less than 0, and in the sideways situation, when we have the a value being negative, this means that we have a parabola that's open to the left. Okay? This is open to the left. So you can expect to have a graph that looks like this. So I'm going to just draw that for you guys right here. And this is pretty much it. If you would like to just stop right here, if you just want to have a sketch of the parabola, and this is it. However, if you want to have more uh, information on the graph, for example, how do I know the parabola will cross here and here, and what exactly are these two points? Here is the y-intercept, right? So here is the y-intercept. And I'm just going to find the y-intercept for you guys. For the y-intercept, what we are going to do is what? We are going to make x equal to 0. So I'm going to plug in x is equal to 0 into here. So we have 0 is equal to negative y squared plus 4y. And I'm just going to make this into blue first. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to factor this out. I'm going to solve for y. So this is going to be 0. It's equal to, let me just factor out y. doesn't really matter because I just want to end up with the values. So I'm just going to factor out y. And then we will have negative y and then plus 4 like all this. And 
this is equal to zero, and we have y is equal to zero, and the other one is negative y plus four is equal to zero. For this one, I'm just going to subtract four on both sides. So we have like this, right? Or you can just add one on both sides, same thing. But I want to be consistent. So if we have negative y is equal to negative four, and divide both sides by negative one, we have y is equal to positive four. As you can see, for the y-intercept, we have two points. First one, it's x is equal to zero, and then y will be zero. And the second one is x is equal to zero, and y is equal to four. So if you would like, this is the first y-intercept, zero comma zero. And then you can just do this right here. This is one, two, three, four. This right here is the other one. So I will label this right here for you guys, 0, 4, and this is 0, 0. And of course, for the vertex, it was 4, 2.